It's Friday, which means it's new makeup release Friday. Yeah, you guys know how much I love this series. And if you guys are new here, this is where we sit back, relax, and talk about all the new makeup releases and whether or not we're going to get them. So you guys want to see what they are, what my thoughts are, well, then definitely keep watching. Alrighty guys, so as always, I get all my information from Trend Mood and Point Click Vibes. So we're gonna go ahead and dive right on in. So the first thing we have is Spotted. Oh, I feel like we're a Gossip Girl. So Spotted in the store's new Sephora favorite sets. These are the holiday must-haves, everyday bestsellers. You guys can find this at Kohl's XOXO. Gossip Girl. So this set includes the Beauty Blender Pink, the Benefit Brow Gel, You to the People Cleanser, Full Size Black Eye Pencil, Amica Hairspray, Charlotte Tilbury Setting Spray, Mini Makeup Eraser, and a Mini Huda Beauty Setting Powder. Retails for $49. And I am definitely going to pass on this, but I will say that I really do enjoy whenever Sephora Sephora, <laughs> when Sephora does stuff like this because they really tend to have a great value. Like I love getting little mini stuff. It, it just, it reminds me so much of the play by Sephora. Y'all, I miss that subscription box. It was $10. It was fantastic. And they discontinue it. That's where I found my Rich People Skin Moisturizer. That's where I found the NARS Power Pigment in the shade Star Woman. Like I found so many goodies because of that damn box and they discontinued it. And I'll never forgive Sephora for it. <laughs> So these will have to do. This will have to do. And a lot of times they do put some great products in here and it just really reminds me of the holiday season, which is like clearly right around the corner. <laughs> I mean, I have my fall step up. Obviously people still get upset that it's not fall, but it's fall to me. And you know, Sephora's rolling out with their Christmas stuff. You know what I mean? So I, I thought that was really cool. I love whenever Sephora does that. Up next, uh, I get tagged in this and I've had people send this to me, but I don't ever really review this brand. Not because I have anything against them. It's just because a lot of their stuff I find to be boring and it is the new kaleidos alma vita collection so um this includes two quad palettes four blushes and seven lip laces this is available right now i know that my beautiful friend angelica neekfish just did a review on this this past week and i find this collection to be rather boring not to mention it's rather boring but the blushes <laughs> the blushes are so pale I think it's definitely a very exclusive collection. I don't think it's inclusive whatsoever because I don't know anyone besides a very light, fair skin person to wear those blushes. Anyone that's below that won't be able to really wear them personally. And I saw this collection and it just, I don't, I don't find it appealing. Like I just generally don't. It kind of reminds me of all the other collections they've recently rolled out with. I will say I haven't tried too much of the brand, so I really can't speak on the quality of it. But the stuff I have tried, I did enjoy. It's just that there's stuff that they've been releasing lately that I just found to be really boring. They used to come out with really colorful stuff and they've definitely been playing it safe lately with coming out a lot of neutrals there's nothing wrong with that but for me i love a good color story and i just found that to be rather boring and if you guys want to see a detail review go watch angelica because she did a really beautiful in-depth review of this i'm just gonna pass okay i have been seeing this next product all over tiktok i must not get the hype but i'm also not like a perfume person like i love perfume but I'm also frugal and won't spend the money on perfume. I'll go to TJ Maxx for it. But Ariana Grande just released a new cloud pink perfume. This says empowering and optimistic, inspired by the confidence that reveals both beauty and strength. No matter the storm, warm and spicy retails for $68. So the top notes are pink pineapple dragon fruit berries. It has a vanilla orchid coconut water blush in the middle and the base is, man is a magenta moss amber woods musk praline. I don't really ever know what it means when it's like, base medium top i'm just like still short sure you know what i mean like i just i don't really know but i'd have to smell this in person but i see everybody's talking about this i see everybody's like oh my god this is here and i just must not get the hype but to be fair i have never smelled any ariana grande perfumes before i know i know but normally i never go into ulta i'm never going in the perfume section i'm either at the hair care section or i'm at the makeup section i never really stop in perfumes maybe i should stop and kind of smell it or just kind of like maybe i should stop and smell it i feel like i should because i mean people rave about this maybe i should like jump on board and be like what's the hype you know what i mean but yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna pass on it but i know people are really excited about it up next it looks like trixie cosmetics is releasing some new setting sprays these are the game face collection there's going to be a first base priming setting spray an all the way setting spray and the ninth inning shimmer spray <laughs> you can buy the face blender for 36. um i don't know what the ninth ending means like what is that like what is that uh 
Ninth Inning Setting Spray is a hydrating and smoothing antioxidant. It, it's a healing and moisturizer. It's eye-catching shimmer for the face and body. That's all it says. All right. Well, we don't really have too much information on this. Um, I'm going to pass. I've never tried anything from Trixie, but I have heard wonderful things about the cosmetics brand. Some of you guys said I should try them out at some point, but I'm going to skip on the setting spray because I'm very particular about setting sprays. I love to have a good matte setting spray, even though today I'm not wearing a matte setting spray. I'm wearing a dewy setting spray. <laughs> I know. I know. I actually filmed this full face of makeup for you guys that you guys will see on Monday. I did a really fun challenge. I hope you guys enjoy it, but I am wearing a dewy setting spray and a dewy primer. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, we'll see how this face lasts. <laughs> so yeah, I'm very particular about my setting sprays and this is just something that doesn't catch my attention. Up next, Makeup by Mario just launched their brand new Surreal Skin Awakening Concealer. This is a multi-use concealer that visibly lifts, blurs, and brightens for your under eye and complexion, caffeine visible deep puffs that tightens and smooths the skin for an awakened look. It's a medium coverage with a buildable formula that's crease proof and long wearing with a self setting formula that locks in with a natural skin like finish. They retail for $29 each and there's 22 shades. I went ahead and I picked this up. I actually went to Sephora yesterday. If you guys have not seen, I did a full face of testing new makeup and I got to try out this concealer and I actually really enjoyed it. Now I only tried it one time so I really can't speak on like anything else other than I really did enjoy the concealer. I didn't see crack or crease throughout the day. It didn't get it didn't settle into any fine lines. It laid down really beautifully so I'm really excited to see how well this concealer performs over time and it kind of makes me wonder like did I miss out on the foundation but some of you guys have also said I have not because the foundation is not meant for oily skin but this concealer was actually quite nice I was impressed by it quite nice I got the shade 120 I enjoyed it and if you guys have not seen the video I'll leave it down below because I definitely tried out some new gem I definitely tried out some new I definitely tried out some new makeup for you guys and I I was impressed I was impressed okay so up next it looks like Harry Potter did a collaboration with Kitchens kitchen <laughs> it includes a satin pillowcase for 22 and the colors are midnight at hogwarts and our an owl post then there's a body wash four piece sampler set for 16 and it looks like it's available right now and i'm not gonna lie the little if this is like how it comes in like with this little um uh suitcase thingy it's like really it's cute i'm not gonna lie it's a really cute like little packaging i'm gonna pass on this one but i will say it is cute um, I know that Kitchik has some really good products. I didn't know they had like skincare products though. That's actually interesting. I did not know they had that. But I also do appreciate that they have like this like in a little box of chocolate form. So they have like chocolate frog, candy floss, sherbet lemon, and marshmallow jelly bean as a body wash. I think that's actually super cute. And the pillowcases are really cute as well. So this is a cute collection. If you guys are into that, I'm going to pass. But I do think they have the little box it comes in. It's cute. Up next, looks like NARS is releasing a Power Matte High Intensity Long Lasting Lip Pencil. This is a bold matte pencil that saturates lips in a rich pigment and has 12 hours of staying power. Transformative, creamy to matte texture applies effortlessly and seals in a bold matte finish for $30. Now, I have tried their um, Power Pigment in the shade Star Woman. It's like a beautiful red lip. I love it. It definitely has longevity to it. Now this is a really big like jumbo pen pencil. I don't know how much I get a use out of this versus like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think he's trying to say something to me. Thought I was going to sneeze. Made a great face for nothing. All right. Well, this is like a really big jumbo pencil. I don't really know how often I would get a use out of this only for the mere fact that like these jumbo pencils would make it really hard for me to like line my lips, right? Like I just, I don't know. I feel like they're too big. They're too chunky. I'd want something a little bit smaller, but I had the pleasure of using their power pigment matte products and they're fantastic. So I'm sure the lip liners are just as good. I just wish they were a little bit smaller. But that's something I want to check out in person for sure. Okay, this is such a cute freaking collection, but Halo, but Hollow Taco just released their down to earth fall collection. So they retail for $13 a piece. You guys can buy the bundle for 78. There are five new nail, um, nail polish colors. And I think the color that I am most attracted to are the top three colors right there. So like that emerald green, that like that doo-doo brown and like that shimmer right up here, really, really pretty. You know, even the red, I'm even attracted to the red. I feel like those would be really pretty. Um, God, I wish I could work with nails like that. Last time I had nails like that was like three years ago. And yo, y'all, I struggled with nails. Like I couldn't even wipe my ass. And I was like, how do y'all do this with nails? And so many of you guys DM'd me and said, this is how you wipe your ass with nails. And I was like, oh my God, like this is a thing. <laughs> I had no idea because I suck at nails. And I also find myself at night, like, like 
I'm just using myself. Like I would not scratch myself, but I'd be scratching the bed because I think my nail. I think I was trying to pull my nails off. I I just. I suck at nails, but I wish I had nails like that because that's so freaking pretty. And those are really pretty colors. And I actually have tried um, Hollow Taco nail polish before, and I actually really do enjoy it. So that'd be something that, like, I wish I could shop it in person. I hate that it's only online, but that'd be really cool if I can get that. Up next, um, Urban Decay released a palette in Europe. This is the new Naked Naked. This is the new Naked Metal Mania palette. Um, I think she's ugly. <laughs> I, 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 I think the outside packaging is. <laughs> An eyesore. And the colors on the inside, I am not a fan of. And I'm so sorry if you are. You know, I'm not, you know, if you love it, that's amazing. I personally just don't think she's pretty. Um, the outside packaging just looks like a kid palette. And the inside color story is just. No, ma'am. I'm okay. That's an easy, easy pass. We're just gonna, that's... So up next, Made by Mitchell just released some new products. These are the cream face palettes called Curved Cases. Each curved case includes eight colors of a glossy, dewy cream formula, giving you a radiant and fresh face glow. They retail for $37.99 and they're in the shade Fair, Medium, and Deep. Now I'm going to pass on this just because I know me personally, I would never really get a use out of this at all. But I do know so many people out there. One of my great friends, Mikey, um, loves Made by Mitchell, Mitchell. So I, I feel like it's something that they, I feel like it's something that he would go and pick up. Just for me personally, I know I would never get a use out of this, but I will say the concept's actually really cool. And in the photos, they look absolutely like creamy and like watery, like super buttery, like they're gonna melt onto the face. So I do like that concept. It's just something that I know I personally wouldn't get a use out of. So that's an easy pass. Up next, Natasha Denona just announced their newest collection. It's the I Need a Nude collection. Oh, this is a cool toned palette with 15 nude shades and matte metallic sparkling foiled and a new wet effect formula. And a sleek 3D pixie glass case inspired by the minimalistic architecture. It retails for $69. And if you are a Rouge member on Sephora, you have early access right now to pick up this palette. And did I pick it up? <laughs> I did. I did pick up this palette. Now there's also going to be a whole like lipstick collection coming with that. Like I need a nude lipstick collection. I'm going to pass on that because I know me personally, I don't need to have any more of those products. I don't need to have any more nude products. I have so many nude lip products in front of me. I just know that like I love the lip liners from Natasha Nodona. Not the biggest fan of the lipstick formula, but the lip liners are fantastic. All I really want is this palette. And when I saw this palette, I immediately had to have it. And you guys are probably like, Allie, you are not a neutral bitch. I know. I'm a color whore. But there is something about a cool tone neutral palette that just gets me going. <sighs> I love it. What can I say? I love a good cool tone neutral palette. I just find it to be so just, yes, <laughs> yes. I don't know. I love it. I love it. I love cool tone palettes like that. So I definitely did pick it up. And as soon as the palette comes in, I would definitely get a review up for you guys ASAP because to me, it is absolutely stunning. And of course, it didn't help that these women look absolutely stunning wearing this makeup. I was like, oh God, I want to recreate that. I mean, like, come on, look at this eye look, right? Like, what? That is so freaking pretty. Something I definitely want to recreate. And um, yeah, I had to pick up this palette. Had to pick it up. And like I said, if you are a Rouge member, it's available right now on Sephora. So go get your hands on it while you guys can. So up next, do you guys know that I absolutely love Patrick Ta Beauty? I love Patrick Ta Beauty. And they just announced that they're going to be doing a new eyeshadow palette. This is the new Major Dimensions Volume 3 Matte Eyeshadow Palette. Now, I love my first two Patrick Ta palettes. But I don't give them as much love as they deserve. Because they definitely are on the warm... Or the warm they're definitely on the warm tone neutral side. And while I really do love the palettes, I don't use them as much. So when I saw this, I was like, that's really pretty, but I'm going to pass. And the reason why I'm passing is that it's just all mattes, all mattes, all warm tone neutral. And I was like, I don't need this, especially because if you guys did not know, launching today, by the time you guys see this, Blend Funny Cosmetics just launched their Forget Me Not palette right here. And this is the versatile face and eye palette. And it is, again, full of all mattes minus the bottom four shades right here. These are going to be like highlighter shades, but you guys can use them as eyeshadows as well. This actually does retail for $44 and you guys can use code Allie, which will save you guys 10% off. And it is affiliate code just so you guys know. 
but it's a really beautiful palette and it did come with a brush set that retails for 34 and i think it's a really pretty palette for sure but i won't use this one as much because it definitely is a neutral palette and i like just very particular neutral palettes so when i saw this as much as i want to get it because i want to like collect patrick ta stuff because i love patrick ta and i know the formula is going to be great i know realistically i will not really use it it's just all mattes and i feel like i really could not use it other than just to create transition shades with or just use as like one or two shades and then go in other palettes to get shimmers. I just don't like doing an all matte look. Not for me. So sadly, I have to pass. Next, it looks like Rare Beauty is doing a collaboration with Only Murders in the Building in celebration of season three on Hulu Star. In celebration of season three of Hulu's show, which stars Selena Stephen Martin, the brand has curated a selected of established items Mabel Mora's must have based on the character Selena plays. When you buy three of these items in which shades you like, you'll get a special edition Rare Beauty makeup bag for free. Now, I definitely pass on this. I have never seen the show, so I have no idea what this means. I have no correlation with this so i found this to be a really easy pass i don't know if the show is good or not i honestly haven't even seen people talk about it at all so i don't know but if you love the show if you love rare beauty uh this could be something that's really just interesting to get uh i'm just i'm gonna pass so up next i have people tagging me in this and asking me to try out this product saying how much i think i would really love it it is the uh, restock of the elf jelly pop dewy primer or dew primer so this is officially back for a limited time only and it retails for ten dollars and this is a unique sticky gel texture primer infused with skin loving ingredients that help keep skin that helps keep makeup in place and features a refreshed watermelon scent back for a limited time and i definitely have seen this primer before i did have this primer i ended up passing along to some of my friends because i knew i just really wasn't getting any use out of it now everybody says i should try this because i love the milk hydro grip but the reason why i decided to pass on it is that it's a dew primer i think it's supposed to give you like a dewy uh, dewy finish according to what i think i saw michaela talk about i think it's supposed to give you a dewy finish guys i don't i don't like dewy primers I just don't and i really enjoy the elf power grip primer plus four four percent niacinamide this to me is like a perfect dupe of the milk hydro grip primer this actually has four percent niacinamide which is fantastic for someone like me who does have very large pores and texture on my face this is a really fantastic product so i feel bad i did pass on this product i don't even know if it's still in stock this launched yesterday but this was a very easy pass for me just because i knew realistically i would not love the primer in the way that you guys might want me to because i have looked at it i've looked at reviews and i'm just like this isn't this is for me so up next it looks like flower nose beauty just released a new swan ballet series collection oh my god this is gorgeous so this is a classical dreamland inspired by swan in the ballet it includes six includes three six color eyeshadow palettes five liquid eyeshadows nine shine lip glosses five embossed blushes three musical box loose setting powders two perfumes three hand mirrors two love blush brush a paddle hair brush two hair clips too many powder puffs, a medium gift box, and an all-in-one gift box. And oh my god, this thing is gorgeous. Like, I really do enjoy Flower Nose Beauty and Floraces. Like, their concept and their designs are just breathtaking. Truly, they are absolutely gorgeous. And for me, if I get any of these products, I'm like, I don't even want to touch this. Like, I don't even want to touch it. I don't want to ruin it because the, the, the way they just do, like, their impressions and the stuff, I'm like, how, how do I, how do I, how do I mess this up? You guys see on a daily basis that I notoriously drop things, right? It is in my life. I feel like I would drop that and shatter it. And I feel like I'd be like, no, but I have tried their stuff before. I've really enjoyed them. They are absolutely beautiful. And this ballet stuff is so freaking pretty. Damn. That's nice. All right, guys. So last but not least, we didn't have that many new makeup releases this week. We have the new Milk Makeup. This is the Odyssey Hydrating Non-Sticky Lip Gloss Oil. They do retail for $22 a piece. I definitely had the pleasure of trying these out. I did do a little mini review. I did swatches of all the shades over on my TikTok and Instagram. I tried it out yesterday in my testing new makeup. I really do enjoy like the hybrid of the lip gloss, lip oil combination. They're so pretty. My favorite shades are Globe Trop, Globe Trop, Globe trot <laughs> and um and quest two beautiful shades i love them both together and uh, i definitely do appreciate milk for sending this over it's a really great formula and i definitely want to keep wearing them they're so high shine and they're non-sticky and they feel incredible and they don't have a scent so if you are sensitive to scents you don't have to worry about that and i was just so cool that milk makeup sent that over and it's available right now in sephora if you guys want to get it but you know what i noticed y'all we don't have another new color pop release we had one last week we have nothing this week I really hope they're okay or they're preparing 
they're preparing us for this next coming season. You know, the holiday season is ColourPop's favorite game. So either they're preparing us or they're definitely taking into the fact that like, you know, not everybody's rushing to buy makeup anymore like they once used to. I don't know, but it's just so weird because I used to say, we have another day, another ColourPop, and now I've been barely saying it and it's a little sad. <laughs> but that is all the new makeup releases this week. Is there anything that I talked about that you guys are so excited to get? Or is there things that you guys talk, that I talked about that you guys are like, pass? Let me know down below and yeah, I'll make sure I list what I'm wearing my face down below for you guys. Stay tuned to Monday so you guys can see how I got makeup look right here. But that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already because I do post four to five videos every single week. Make sure you guys head over to my other channel. It's R for the Life. You guys get to see my cool, wonderful adventures, my amazing husband, Corey. As always, the biggest thank you goes to these beautiful, wonderful page members you guys see right here. Thank you guys so much for everything. And to my subscribers and viewers, thank you guys so much for being here. Whether you guys like this video, you guys thumbs down this video, you guys subscribed, you guys did not subscribe. Either way, thank you guys so much for being here. I love and appreciate each and every single one of you. So with that said, guys, I love you and I'll see you guys in the very next video.